Hi everyone. We're gonna work on Heart of Fire in this video and this is the violin two part. Um, we're going to start this video by looking at the music, breaking it down. I've made a lot of notes here on this sheet music for you. This is the first page. I'll move to other pages as we get there. Um, and so you should pause right here and get your sheet music, get a pencil, maybe even a highlighter, and get ready to make some marks in your part, okay? So the first thing to do when figuring out a new piece of music is to just take a look at it and see what you can figure out before you even pick up your instrument. And that's how we start sight reading, is doing that type of work. So we'll do it together, um, and I'll work to show you some practice spots. And then we'll turn on the metronome and count the whole thing out and get a sense of how it goes rhythmically. Um, I think that rhythm and figuring out what's happening with it is the most important thing you can do. A lot of times when we're having difficulty with a piece, it's almost always because of the rhythm. Sure, sometimes there are some difficult notes, but you could be playing all the right notes, but if your rhythm is wrong, you'll be lost. So um, I always like to start with the rhythm and definitely using that metronome. Woohoo! We need a metronome and a good one. So um, if you need a recommendation on metronome type, definitely talk to me. So, um, okay. So let's talk about some things in here, some of my notations that you'll see in this video and in following videos and upcoming videos. Um, for example, these marks right here, these are called beat marks, okay? So when I take a slash and I write a slash over some spots in the measure, I'm trying to show where the big beats of the measure are falling. So for example, if we were to look right here on this measure, the big beat, we've got four beats in a measure, we have It's very clear to see here. You have one, two, three, four. There's your four beats, okay? Um, and this looks kind of fancy because you have chords and they're eighth notes and an eighth rest. It looks super, super fancy. I made a note here for you that says, these notations feel like a ta. Just like a ta, ta, ta. Ta, but they're short, so there's a little space between these ta's. That's what the rest gives you, okay? So it sort of feels more like this illustration that I drew up here. Ta, 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 or one, two, three, four. And so in, an ex in a section like this, it's helpful sometimes to write that beat mark to show us, okay, this is just right on the main beat. One, two, three three, four, okay? So we have some beat marks here, we have some here, and I like to put them in places where we need to sort of pay attention to the beat or there's some rhythmic challenges that we're trying to make sure we can play, and I absolutely make these marks in my part when I have pieces to play and I need help remembering and staying on the beat. So this piece is very rhythmic, the notes aren't that crazy. It's just the speed and the rhythm are tricky. So you'll probably be working mostly on rhythm and getting in the right spot. Okay, so let's talk about a few things on the piece. For example, we've got four beats in a measure. Um, there are no sharps, no flats, okay? Now, when we have no sharps, no flats, everything is natural, and typically the note that we fumble on in this key signature have a little trouble with would be F natural okay we love F sharps that's sort of our favorite note F sharp we like it so when we don't have F sharp I like to mark that so notice here I've written natural above that F which feels like a flat one or natural here natural F natural okay and over here this is the lower octave F natural so I'll write a little natural just to help remind myself if I were playing this piece that oh hey right F's are natural I like to do that on the first few F's or whatever note it is you're trying to remind yourself of that you see until you sort of you know by this point hopefully you'll your ear and your fingers will be sort of 
um, used to, oh yes, we are using F naturals in this piece, okay? Now, as you get down to this section down here, we start to get some accidentals, some note, some sharps or flats or naturals that are not a part of the key. So we start to get that F sharp back. Okay, so look, we have F sharp here, and then way over here on the other side of the measure, that one is still sharp, but you know, that's hard to remember. So I write it in. Oh, right, that one is still sharp. This one's sharp, and then over here, that one is still sharp. Never hurts to write it in, so I've written a few in. Um, this is a sharp two. This is a natural two. That's a little funny. Um, so write it in if it helps you. If you're having any kind of trouble with any note, write something in to help yourself get through it, okay? Um, I do have some specific fingerings to try. Here, I recommend it to use a four. It sort of breaks this run of notes up. You have one, two, three, four one, two, three, four, and then you have a double E, which is kind of weird. So it's almost like you're going walking up the steps straight up, but all of a sudden right here, you have two E's in a row. Um, I like using the four on the first one and the open on the second one, which sort of separates them a little bit and gives you some distinction. Otherwise it's really confusing. So try that, try that on for size and give it a try. Um, <clears throat> So let's look at the practice spots in here. Um, I've already mentioned this, and I mentioned this even though you'll probably have no problem with this measure. I think that's pretty clear. But it's good to take a look at that because you have a similar counting down here and in other places in this piece um, where it's not as obvious and clear. So I wanted to point out that this and this feel very much the same. So one, two. And then we have something fancy after. But that first part is just basically ta, ta, but they're short. One, two, and then we get something else. Okay, so we're gonna break that rhythm down. Um, and so that's a good thing to realize that this is not as fancy as it looks. You can do this. Um, okay, so other spots. You have a lot of 16th note runs. Um, that start after a rest. And whenever you have that, I would start on the string. So after you play these notes, put your fingers on this note and your bow on the string and start with your bow on the string. Don't try to come from the air and drop your bow down on this note. And every single time you start a run of notes from a rest, set your bow on the string and start with it from the string, okay? It's something that you get used to doing, placing your bow before you begin in a space, but it will give you a much more solid start. Um, trying to land on it right on time can get us a little bit tangled. Okay, so for example here, start on the string. I put some little stars to sort of give some examples. I can't do it on every single one. There's a lot of places in this piece. Start from the string. Um, start from the string down here. There's more in the next page. So after every single rest where you start a group of notes, place your bow on the string. Try to get used to that. You'll do that forever. Okay. Um, starting at 14, we have some rhythmic challenge right here. Okay. This is a funny rhythm. So let's talk about it. We're going to start this at a slower speed, I'm gonna put it on 75. Just to count it out uh, so you can understand me, the actual speed is 96 to 120. I'd say be ready to play at 120, okay? And then if she goes 110, you're good to go. Um, but there's a good chance you may go 120. But for right now, we're gonna do this at a medium tempo, medium slow, to just get a sense of what's happening. So I'm gonna put it, whoops. I'm going to put it on 75, okay? Right here. So, one, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four, okay? And the next measure, it's almost the same thing, but you have a little eighth rest to begin with. So the downbeat, the big beat, there's going to be a little silence, so... Other than that, it feels the same. So, one, two, and three, and four. One, 
and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and. Okay, then this is another spot to work on. I'm gonna clap that for you one time. Here we go. One, two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One, two and three and four. One and two and. Okay, now let's go into this section. Um, so you have this rhythmic harmony going on right here. And then starting right here where this forte is is where you take over more of a melodic figure, okay? So this really pops out and suddenly you've got a really different thing going on. Okay, so if we listen to this, starting right here on the forte, you have um, tika ti, tika ti, ti, tika ti, 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 ta, ti, ta, ti, 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 ta, okay? Now, in this example, I'm gonna count this in TTs, tika tikas, tas. It's easier to count it that way. In the previous example, I used beat numbers one and two, and because it's easier in this section. And in my videos, I will mix um, counting with beat numbers or counting with TTs, tas, and tikas, and various things like that. Depending on the section, one usually is easier than the other. So I will use the easiest one to count, speak, and sing um, to help you understand it. So both work well. Um, sometimes one just works better than the other, depending on what it is, okay? So just follow along. Hopefully it'll make sense as the more we do this, okay? So right here we have a tie. And this tie is a little tricky. Now, what I just counted, I split those two up. So right here it says break tie to count. So break this tie, pretend like it's not there, like we're gonna scribble it out, just temporarily, okay? Just for counting. And then as we get more comfortable with how long each of those two notes are, we can add that tie back and we'll be able to count it and feel it, okay? But this is a tricky rhythm, so let's do it again. Tika ti, tika ti, ti tika ti, ti, ti ti ta, ti ta, ti 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 ta. Okay, let's do it with a metronome. Here it is again. Tika ti, tika ti, ti tika ti, ti 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 ta, ti ta, ti 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 ta. Okay, all right. So we've broken that down a little bit. This part, let's move on. Um, this part is a little tricky, that's a practice spot. It's not that hard, but it's not, it moves a little bit, so I would look right there. Um, now, rhythmically, here's something a little funky we mentioned before, so what do we have here? One, two, three, so here's the third beat. The third beat lands on a rest, okay? So you're not going to have any sound on beat three and you're gonna move right after it on the end of three. Okay, so it sounds like this. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, you can try to clap that for you. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so I'm just doing this measure. One, two, three, and four, and. Okay, I'm stopping on this note. Now I'm gonna to go to here. Ready, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and tika tika. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, e enda. Okay, one, two, three, and four, and one, and a two, e and a three, and four, and one, e and a two, and. So here, it's I'd like to switch back to tikas and tts. Um, it feels easier, so we'll do that. Now, this part's not too crazy. You do have some bowings to look for, like down, down, and then this is up. Um, you got an up, up here. Mark those. Mark those in your part, and you won't miss them, okay? They're very specific, so I would definitely mark that in. Um, okay, 
Now, we do have some rhythm down here. This is all rhythm. The notes aren't that interesting. So it's about nailing that rhythm. It's going to make a shape. It's pretty cool. Um, but notice that the first measure of this, starting at 33, where you start this um, figure, you have one beat, one full beat of rest, and then you start on beat two. So one, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, okay? Shh, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, okay? In the next measure, though, you only have an eighth rest. So one E and a, mm, let me say that again, one E, one E and a. So I'm just doing those two, one E and a. Okay, and then you get 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a, 1. 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. Okay, then we'll go into the next page. So one more, one more time here. 1, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a, 1. And a, 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a, 1. 2E and a, 3E and a, 4E and a. Okay? Now... Um, let's go on to the second page. I'm going to switch this over. So that continues. Um, then suddenly here we get two beats of rest, okay? We're changing the pattern a little bit right there, which is why I marked the beat. So that we, oh, right, I need to count to two before I play anything right there. So one, two, you have two beat marks. Tika, 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 ta, shh. Tika, 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 one, and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a, one. Okay, now we're back to, at measure 40, it feels like the beginning again. Okay, so we don't need to talk about that again. Now, you, here's where it changes, and you get an ending that's going to take you into the main omoso. Okay, so here, this is a similar idea, all that's the same. Okay. Tika, 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 T, tika, 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 T. Shh, one, tika, 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 one, two, three, shh, one, two, three, um, okay, now we're to the main omoso, and if you'll notice, I sang that slowing down, and I've highlighted and written a whole bunch of stuff, retard right here, diminuendo right here, Everything is slowing down. It's a fast piece, right? Um, but we're headed to the main omoso where it's going to slow down and get more gentle. So all of this is starting to get quieter, die away, get slower, and we need to keep our eyes on the conductor. Watch the stick um, to show you how slow to go on these notes and when to land here, okay? Then you'll be in a new speed. So in this video, we're only going to go to here, um, and then I'll cover the rest of it in a separate video. I'll get you started with this. Okay, so we're going to count it out. I'm going to count it out at this 75 tempo. Uh, actually, I might go a little bit faster now. Let's go to... No. Let's keep it at 75. Okay. 75, I'm going to turn the page, we'll go to the Minamoso, and then I'm going to play through it for you at that speed, and I'll play it for you at a faster speed too, okay? So here goes. Okay, ready, ready, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four, one. Shh, shh, tika, 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 t. Shh, one, tika, 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 t. Shh, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Tika, 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 t. Shh, tika, 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 t. Shh, shh, tika, 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 tika. Tika 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 one two and three and four one and two and three and four one two and three and four one and two and three and four one two and three and four one and two and tika 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 tika
ti ti ka ti 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 ta ti ta ti 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 ta ti ti ka ti 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 ta one two three and four and one two three and four e and a one two three and four and one tika 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 ti 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 tika tika ti 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 tika 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 ti mm oops i think i messed this up on you a little bit we're gonna start right here sorry about that ready and one tika 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 ti 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 tika tika ti ta T tika 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 ti 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 tika tika ti ta ti tika 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 ti tika 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 mmm sorry I got that a little bit off so I just counted this like this one and that's the trouble with this part they're so similar it's very easy to come in in the wrong place let me do that for you one more time i'm going to switch to one e and a two e and a here i think it helps here we go ready and one two e and a three e and a four e and a one and a two e and a three e and a four e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and a two e and a three e and a four e and a okay i gotta turn my page so I just stopped right there, and one more time from here, and one, and a, two E, and a, three E, and a, four E, and a, one, two, three E, and a, four E, and a, one, two, three E, and a, four E, and a, shh, and a, two E, and a, three E, and a, four E, and a, one. Okay, now we're back to that beginning part. Let's go to here. Tika, 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 tee, tika, 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 tee, shh. Mm. Tika 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 ti, shh. Tika 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 tika. One two three, shh. Two three four, one two three four. Okay, so I tried to show you the conductor's um, beat just a little bit right here. I turned off the metronome so we could attempt a retard. Okay. Um, so that's a general idea. So I'm gonna stop it here and then I'll restart with me playing it for you at this speed at 75 and then we'll play it a little bit faster, okay? Hope that helps. Hey guys, okay, I'm gonna look at you now. Um, I'm gonna play this at 75 and then I'll play it a little faster so that you can play along and hopefully play along when it's faster, okay? All right, so here goes. This is just the beginning to the main almoso. In measure, wait. In measure three, where you have Um, my first thought is that it might be down, 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 but it doesn't say that. So it may be down, up, down, up. Um, and it will feel really different at a faster speed. So you might want to check the Boeing on that. And um, either way would work, but I'm sure there's one way in particular that they're going to want it. So check that out and write that in your part so that you know. So for now, I'm going to do down, up, okay? Um, because it doesn't say down, down. Okay, um, and then you hack this chord at the very beginning where you have your first finger on the D and the G string. So, so that finger needs to be in between the two strings. Let's see if I can get a good picture of that. I'm trying. And I would put that finger on those two strings just like that every time. Okay, even where you have the single note before it. So when you play, rest, rest. I went ahead and put my finger on both strings. Rest, rest. Okay, so that finger is still down and I, it didn't move. Once I did that, 
rest, 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 rest. Okay? So give that a try. It takes a little getting used to, to not move your finger around, but it's actually a lot easier, especially when it's faster. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, on. Um. Rest, rest. Rest, rest, rest. Okay, and at the end there, I missed a beat after the retard started because I turned off the metronome so I could try to demonstrate the retard for you because you can't really do a slowdown with your metronome on. It's kind of tricky. Um, so anyway, there's that, okay? And then I'm gonna come back and do it faster, okay? So I'm gonna pause it here and then restart it. Hey, okay, let's do this piece again at 100. Um, it does go faster, but hopefully this will get you pretty far. And then if we need to work on speed um, more in your lesson, we can do that. Okay, so here's 100. Ready? One, two, ready, go.
turn off the metronome to finish the and here it is and one <laughs> Hope that helps.